Hi everyone, uh, today is uh, June 23rd, and um, taking a look at about a taking a look at a recent news article that was talking about um, shopping trends um, between in-person shopping and um, online shopping, and they were talking about how uh, towards the beginning of the pandemic two years ago, uh, when everything um, was in lockdown mode, uh, a lot of um, online shopping platforms uh, started to um, see a, a very steep increase in uh, consumer behavior. So, um, for example, I was purchasing groceries online. That was an option um, that they could be brought directly to uh, the home. Uh, for for a delivery fee, or they could be packaged um, and put aside uh, for pickup um, at the supermarket or in a special area. Um, and Amazon definitely has already been around for a while, and so they saw a huge increase in, in online purchases. Um, I think people started doing a lot of... Um, home repair, uh, home decoration projects, uh, buying exercise equipment, and, you know, finding, you know, board games, things for entertainment, um, and, and what else? Uh, and as a result of a, a lot of the online shopping, um, a lot of uh, brick, brick and mortar, uh, big, big establishments, uh, department stores, and big malls um, saw like a huge decrease in the traffic um, because they were, yeah, they're closed. And also, it was um, uh, there was a big shift in this online purchasing. So uh, a lot of places ended up closing. A lot of branches of um, of stores and a lot of downsizing. A lot of staff um, being let go, um, and now um, people are kind of basically kind of don't want to be stuck home um, anymore, and they do want to go out and and they see shopping as as a way to socialize as well to be around other people, um, like even if you don't necessarily purchase something, uh, the place where you go. Um, allows you to spend time outside um, and not just be inside and um, uh, uh, so now now some of those places are uh, seeing a reversal of some of those trends even Amazon has realized that it had um, a lot of warehouse storage that it purchased or rented and now it's trying to um, uh, sell uh, the, the storage space that so it's seeing a decrease in online purchasing as people are transitioning back to wanting to go out again um, there's always been a little bit of a back and forth on benefits and disadvantages and uh, if you have free time um, then yeah going out you know, shopping but if you don't have that time um, having something delivered ends up being a more practical um, However, having all those deliveries is not all that great as a carbon footprint, um, or that that's even under debate of um, having all, all of that back and forth of these trucks and, and delivery packages being flown um, on, on different planes and, and trucks and things. So, but yeah, um, for me, um, I'm, I've been grocery shopping in person since about. Um, I'm gonna say like even August of uh, 2020, um, I stopped doing it for about um, five months in person. And I remember uh, just kind of, uh, just, it, it was not always so convenient to be ordering stuff online because then it might run out and then they might be kind of substituted or so half the stuff that you wanted, you might not get. Um, so it was just a bit easier to to go in person. Um, 
uh, definitely uh, Amazon and stuff helped out a lot when I when I moved and had to um, get, for example, um, some furniture like bunk beds uh, for my kids, the mattresses. Um, I did from time to time uh, borrow a car uh, so I could purchase things like you know the blankets, pillows, and, and kitchen supplies. Um, so I, yeah, I was able to do that in person. Um, uh, yeah, in person, I, I purchased the uh, washer and dryer unit and the refrigerator unit, but I had to uh, find um, somebody who could help me um, with uh, uh, picking it up from the supermarket and moving it and moving it up the stairs. Uh, so I, I had to hire somebody for that. Um, the, the, the supermarket did not organize that part. Um, what else for purchases? Um, I haven't really done clothes shopping uh, much these past two years. I think there's been two trips when I visited the United States and took advantage of um, buying a few things uh, there. Uh, um, I haven't bought new shoes in a while. Um, I've got, I purchased some musical equipment uh, in in person um, at a music store that I like that I've done in person. Um, yeah, there, there have been some things, yeah, Christmas shopping, some of those things like online uh, for the kids um, or some things, but yeah, that's been about it for some major trends, I could say, but mostly like the grocery shopping, food and drinks um, in person. Um, and yeah, yeah, those are some of the things. Mm -hmm. Um, hola a todos, estamos hablando un poco de como los hábitos de, de compra y por ejemplo en, entre en persona y en línea y en el inicio de la pandemia, uh, muchos lugares, muchas tiendas, uh, centros comerciales se cerraron, entonces era más bien todas las compras en línea y con entregas a domicilio que uh, dieron un incremento uh, tremendo. Um, ahorita que hay muchos, um, hay, hay muchos lugares más abiertos y, y cubrebocas y, um, no necesarias o o hay más gente con vacunas, um, pues hay más y más gente que quieren salir. Entonces hay tiendas donde um, la gente quiere ir más y más. Y finalmente no era una tendencia permanente de que todo iba a estar en línea. Entonces yo creo que hay un equilibrio. Uh, bonjour tout le monde, aujourd'hui c'est le jour uh, 23, on est en train de parler d'un article qui parlait un peu de euh, les habitudes euh, des consommateurs pour acheter en ligne ou acheter en personne. Et au début de, de la pandémie, euh, j'ai vu que bah, il y avait une augmentation euh, des achats en, en ligne, par exemple avec Amazon et aussi des supermarchés qui euh, permettaient d'acheter en ligne et, et faisaient des... Euh, Uh, des livraisons uh, à domicile, donc uh, ça permettait beaucoup de gens de rester sur place. Uh, maintenant uh, qu'il y a beaucoup de gens qui veulent uh, sortir, uh, voir des gens, il uh, y a un retour uh, vers les magasins, vers les uh, grandes surfaces, les, les, um, les centres commerciaux. Um, je continue à acheter ma bouffe euh, au supermarché directement quand je peux, euh, si j'ai accès à une voiture, je vais euh, en personne, euh, je peux faire ça une fois par semaine ou une fois toutes les deux semaines, euh, ça dépend de ce que j'achète euh, et puis il euh, y a pas mal que je peux acheter euh, surgelé et ça reste euh, 
euh, accessible pendant deux semaines. Euh, il y avait pas mal de trucs que j'ai fait livrer euh, quand j'ai déménagé. Euh, des, des litières, euh, des, des matelas. Euh, mais quand même, il y avait d'autres trucs comme un sèche-linge, euh, un réfrigérateur euh, pour... Euh, que j'ai acheté euh, euh, sur, sur place et, et j'ai euh, euh, trouvé quelqu'un pour m'aider à, à la faire livrer et monter. Euh, ouais, voilà. Hello, um, Nala, heute ist der euh, um, 23. Tag. Uh, wir sprechen ein bisschen darüber, wo kaufen wir uh, Dinge um, uh, im Internet oder um, in stores uh, and when uh, the pandemic uh, is the uh, beginning um, ich uh, habe viele Dinge um, gekauft uh, im Internet zum Beispiel uh, Essen um, ich könnte es uh, uh, kaufen im Internet und um, gehen Uh, zu Supermarkt um, um, und uh, auch mit Amazon. Uh, es, es, es gibt viele Dinge, die uh, ich habe gekauft uh, und um, die Leute uh, kommen uh, an, um, bei, bei mir. Uh, jetzt ich sehe ich, dass uh, viele Leute möchten um, gehen um, aus. Uh, und um, das bedeutet, dass um, um, die, die Leute uh, will andere Leute sehen und uh, nicht uh, zu Hause bleiben. Ja, um, das ist da. Ciao a tutti, oggi è il giorno 23, parliamo un po' di um, dove comprare cose, per esempio Uh, quando ha cominciato il pandemic um, ho uh, comprato uh, molte cose in linea, per esempio con Amazon o con il supermercato, ho potuto uh, comprare questo e alcuna persona um, viene uh, alla casa. Um, e ho comprato eh, cinque mesi eh, dopo il comincio della pandemia eh, nel supermercato ho voluto vedere eh, cosa c'è eh, è stato un po' più semplice vedere eh, e, e to choose eh, ora eh, penso che ci sono molte persone che eh, vogliono ritornare al centro commerciale o stores um, e questo è, è tutto. Всем привет, сегодня 23 день. Uh, мы говорим немного uh, о том, что где uh, пат uh, вещи, uh, например, когда начал uh, pandemic, um, Я сидел um, дома и я покупал много uh, в сайте Amazon и также в супермаркт. Um, и сейчас я вижу, что много людей um, хотят uh, um, вернуться um, в магазинах. И это нормально. Я думаю, что люди хотят... Uh, um, встречаться с, с друзьями и, 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 и не, не сидеть дома. Э, так, это все на сегодня. Большое спасибо и пока.